What's going on guys, Dylan back. Like I never left, you guys know how it is. I am at Fort Greene in Brooklyn playing some tennis for a very, very special event. On invited me out to go try out the new products and I'll tell you what, I think I look pretty good, boy. Come on now, let's get it. I think you guys are really, really gonna enjoy this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I got a sneak peek of a very, very famous tennis player at the end. Stay tuned. As many of us know, tennis is a difficult sport to get into. I mean, between lessons, stringing, outfits, clothes, and especially if you're playing at a high level, you're breaking strings all the time, it gets expensive. And I mean, I'm sure a lot of us have experienced that. And those of us who are lucky enough to go to a good college, they can provide those things for us. I mean, you know, we, we take what we can get, but you know, now moving into the adult world, I'm really starting to see how expensive tennis can really be. I think that was the main focus here for On and why they wanted to put the event on. They really wanted to give the, back to the community. And so they put out this event in Fort Greene oh, Park and it was an absolute great yeah. event. Okay. So much turnout. We had a lot of people watching and these courts, they were quick. Let me tell you what, they were very, very quick. And you guys have seen my previous videos. Uh, quick court style is not my game. I like a nice, slow, hard court. Even better, a nice, slow clay court so you know my athleticism can actually shine. Those quick surfaces, are, uh, it's never good for me. I mean, you guys have seen me lose matches against Mark in Milwaukee. Just those fast courts have just never been my thing. But they, you know, they said in the email, they said, hey, Dylan, we also want you to come out here and play some matches against some people. And I said, absolutely, sure. Who, um, who exactly am I going to be matched up against? I wasn't sure if it was going to be kind of like doing some feeding drills with some people there or if I was playing a serious match. They, they should be with, you know, a 5-0, 5-5 player. I said, okay, cool. I can do that. I can definitely put on a good show for those people. You know, I love putting yep. on a good show. You know, I show up and the first thing they're like, hey, um, yeah, so this is a carousel. And, um, you know, from my tennis HQ. I was like, yes. <laughs> I know that guy, he's uh, definitely not a 5'5", probably way, way better. I mean, he's coaching people on the ATP tour right now. Played at UCLA, really, really good person. And then they introduced me to Noah Rubin. And I had to take a double take. I was like, you mean the Noah Rubin who played Roger Federer in the Australian Open? You mean the Noah Rubin who was 125 in the world? Oh, yeah, that guy. Uh, yeah. Safe to say I was a little intimidated, but tell you what, you know, one of the nicest guys ever, super nice. And I mean, he has not lost a step at all. I promise you that. Well, at least in my eyes, I'm sure he would probably tell you different. But you guys gotta check out this point he just hit here with his hands. I mean, his hands are insane. Look at this. I mean, just insane. But even with that added pressure, Dylan still found some ways to get his licks in. You know, he had to. And any time that you're able to get a fist pump from Noah Rubin, 125 in the world, you're gonna take it. You're gonna take it, you know? We played some team singles as well. And if you guys know, singles is my game. And so anytime I get a chance to beat Caruso in a point, gotta post it on YouTube. You know, I got a little hype there, but don't worry, I was respectful. Even though I was respectful, he got me back the next point. He just had to remind me that he is indeed good. And here, I remember my thought process returning this next serve. I was like, okay, all right, these serves are different. These pro serves are very, very different. I'm like, all right, get loose, get ready. And then I was like, you know what? Uh, let's take a step back. Let's take a step back. Let's make sure we have enough time. And, you know, I'm thinking like, oh, all these things are going through my head. All right, we're, we got to stay in front of the ball, stay in front of the ball, stay low, stay low. And no chance. No chance, <laughs> absolutely no chance. But something that really warmed my heart is that I got compliments on my footwork and my athleticism. Check out those feet right there. That's Jim Cohen teaching you how to run around a ball. I ended up losing the point, but a compliment from Noah and Carew on my footwork, man, I'll take that any day. Everyone pretty much got their licks in, you know, playing against the pros. They were very nice. I don't think they were going full speed. Ethan hits a very nice overhead here and right down the middle. What I always say in doubles, the middle is your friend. And then here's a little ch kind of cheeky point, you know, maybe pickleball-esque point there, you know, a little bit of touch. Ethan runs up, he gets it. I try to put it over there, it goes back over there. And he finished it off. But this is where the pressure sits in. Noah makes an announcement. There's a good tennis player 
on the premises now for added pressure. Ladies and gentlemen, Roger Fetter is here. Immediately the pressure sits in and I hit that volley and then that one, Dude, and I up? just like, get a hold of yourself, Dylan. And I finally was able to pull it together. But I mean, when Fed's watching you play, you get a little tight. Then he started walking out on court and everyone was super excited. And my buddy came up to me. You can hear the excitement in our voice. Did you get some pictures? Picture All right, wait, I with him? I got a picture with him, yes. Yeah, come on, bro! I immediately was filled with jealousy and Roger came walking out on the court and everyone just started surrounding him. I strategically placed myself next to Noah Rubin because I knew that Roger knows him. They played each other in a match before and I was able to secure the picture. Just real quick, thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks really much, I appreciate it. My name's Dylan, by the way. Nice to meet you. Thanks, thank Roger, you. thank you. All right, we just met Roger. I might cry, I might cry. <laughs> I know, <laughs> I feel like a 12 year old boy. Egan and Ben decided to join the party and they got to play some doubles points against all the players that were there. The kids went first, but don't worry. Karu and I got our chance. Definitely a highlight of my life. Ega and Ben continued to play with other people that were there, and I think they all had a really good time. But the really cool thing is the CEO and Roger Federer came out afterwards saying they're gonna redo all the courts there at Fort Greene Park so all those players can have freshly new surfaces. And they, maybe they won't be as quick as before. But overall, I had a great time at the Thanks for Playing On event, and I hope to be invited next time. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe.